I'm gonna do a quick video on how to bench test the coils on the LS swap. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is because I ran into a problem. Once I got the OBD hooked up to the computer, it was telling me that cylinder one had a misfire. When I looked into it, everybody online was pretty much saying that it was, on the videos, it was pretty much pointing towards the coil. So I went ahead and just changed the coil without even checking it. Got the new coil, this is it. Put it on, same problem. So then I had to chase where my problem was at. I didn't know how the wiring went on these. So I looked into it, it has two grounds. One ground is for the chassis, which is black. The other, the other ground is brown, it's coming from the computer. And on the top here, on the top pin is gonna be a pink wire. That's gonna be your key on. And then the second pin, the second wire from the top, if you're looking at this clip like this, that's gonna be your signal wire. It changes according to cylinder. On cylinder one, it's purple. So I have it wired up right here how it would be. I have both of the grounds going to the compute, to the, to the battery. And then I have this ground coming this way, that way the spark will have somewhere to go. Right now it's going to go to this table because it's metal, but if you're doing it yourself and you don't have a metal table, then you won't see the spark unless you want to shock yourself in the finger. But the same wire that you're using for the ground, you can just strip it and then put it in front of it and it will arc out to it and then straight to the battery. That'll be your ground on the two bottom pins like I said before. The top pin, you just put constant power to it because that's what happens when you turn your key on. So power the top and then the second one's going to be your trigger second pin from the top if you see this clip which I'm show you guys once you turn on your car then the computer is going to send a signal usually a low voltage to the second pin and that's going to that's going to make it that's going to activate see? so that's just for testing it the second wire is supposed to be a real low voltage but I don't have no way to reduce that so I just went ahead and hooked it up straight just to show you guys how they work so I'm going to show you guys on the truck how it's set up that way you can see what I'm talking about and hopefully help somebody because once I got the, the good coil and it still did the same thing, I was really disappointed. So I figured I'll look into it really quick. So here's how they wired up. Let me put this like. So as if you're looking at it like this, let's see if I can set this light up. Probably should have done that before I started recording. So anyways, <clears throat> if you're looking at this coil this way, see the, the clip is on top, that's what I'm talking about, that's how I'm referring myself. The pink wire is the farthest to the left, which is, well they're actually lettered, it's D, that's the, the key on, and then the second one's going to be your signal, it's going to get a low voltage, like 5 volts from the computer. And then this B is a ground from the computer, they call it a clean ground, but it's, it's just the ground. And then also on A is a ground to the chassis. So that's how it is. And then they're all the same. The only one that changes is the second wire from the, from the left next to the pink. Depending on which one it is, that's the one that's going to change. See, I know, well, this is the main pack. Sorry about that. But see, they're all, there's a pink and then it changes them. And then the two grounds. Pink, whatever the color of the signal wire is for that cylinder, then the two grounds. They're all like that, every single one. So here's the issue I was having. I had this motor running, like I said before, I, don't know, I didn't know anything about these motors, I know a little bit now, but I would fire up and it would fire up fine, and it sounded fine as well. So let me fire it up for you guys and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. There you go, the motor sounds good, it revs nice, everything works great. I thought it was fine. Look at that. It turns out this whole time I've been running on seven cylinders and I'll prove it to you. See, it's not even hooked up. There's no spark in the mouth. But if I would have took the time to actually check the coil, then I'm going to know that it wasn't the coil. You want to plug it back in? Not an easy way to check the coil. I don't know why I'm going to put it under the coil bar. See if I left the back of the car. Nice. That won't work. the same issue after I ordered the new one now here's what ended up happening with mine it might not be the case with yours but with mine 
Once I saw that the new coil wasn't working as well, I had to trace these wires. I wasn't getting a signal wire here. I was getting power and I was getting both of the grounds. The black and the brown were both grounds were working. So was the pink wire, I just wasn't getting a signal wire. So I ended up following it back here. And what happened with mine is I got lucky and it just went to here. The purple wire here, I don't know if I did it or if it was already done when I got it, but when I pushed it in or when it was pushed in, they didn't line up. This is female. This is male. So it ended up coming out of its spot where it was supposed to be so it wasn't making the connection. I got lucky and I was able to trace it to my problem to here. So now I got spark on all cylinders and it does make a difference. Everything is smoothed out, but it seemed like it was fine to me. So let me show you guys a real quick startup with it with um, all eight cylinders firing. Hold on one second. Thank you guys for watching and I hope it helps you guys out.